blowing up overnight is easy. Like, I don't think people realise that if you wanted to blow up tonight, you could do it. Because of the way the internet is and people are with the internet, all you have to do is come up with a ridiculous story or do something stupid. I'm not advocating that. This is a video right now to tell you, yes, that's possible, but don't do it. This kind of relates back to the last episode of the GRR show I did, which you're going to find at the bottom at the end of this video, where somebody had asked me to, you know, explain a little bit what instant gratification is, and that's just basically getting it all now, and it's kind of at the expense of other things. Now, you could blow overnight. Like, if I wanted to, I could get 100,000 views on Get Rich Rapping today. I could probably get over a million views today if I come up with some crazy story, some shit like... I don't know, young thug fingered his uncle while Drake watched on emotionally. <laughs> I know it sounds like stupid, but like, that's what the internet's into these days. If I put that article out now, people would be like, oh my god, young thug fingered his uncle. Share, 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 share. But then what does that do to my brand? When I try and give someone something positive after that, they say, shut the fuck up, you're the guy who said young thug fingered his uncle. You have to stay consistent with your message and what you're doing. And it is going to take more time when you do that. When you take your time and work on a brand image and push what you want forward, it is going to take more time. If you do the overnight thing, all that's going to happen is you get forced into position. You no longer have any control on where you want to go and what you want to do with your music or your brand, whatever you're pushing. You're pushing the direction your content forces you into because you started doing some stupid stuff or you did something ridiculous that takes you completely away from what your message was in the first place. Whereas if you do it pure and with a brand message and you stay consistent with that message, you control where you go. You make the decisions, right? I want to go on that website there. I want to go on this there. I want to do this there. And you can take that at your pace and make the moves that you need to make to get into that place. If you blow up overnight, you just get thrown around everywhere. You just These doors of opportunity will open, but these doors of opportunity will lead you into a big pile of shit that will only last. It's like a whirlwind. You'll blow up, everything will just go crazy. Then all of a sudden, it'll spit you back out with all your credibility and your brand in pieces. This is a slow burning game, okay? Get your brand message, get very concise on it, know what you want to do and make the moves based on what you want for that brand. You'll be tempted to do stupid stuff for attention. I get tempted all the time. I see these clown ass blogs and these clown ass YouTubers doing some stupid shit and I just think, look at all those views they go. And what if I did that? And then I have to say, no, listen, because I understand this principle I'm talking about, I know that as soon as I do that, what I wanted in the beginning is over and I cannot go back to it anymore. Know your message, stay consistent consistent with your message. If you're spreading love and positivity, don't be sharing fight videos. If you're spreading love and positivity, don't be sharing nothing about no stupid celebrity news about who fucked who in the ass. Stay consistent with your message, okay? Don't get mad, get motivated. Don't make kids make history. It's Eskimo, getrichrapping.com. Make sure to click all the links in the description. Like, comment, subscribe. We are staying consistent. It's all about the growth of artists and producers and small business owners online. And that is what it's always going to be. So yeah, you enjoy your day. Bye, bye, bye.